Hey everybody, just wanted to give a quick update on the import magic testing. I sent out a few keys to some folks who reached out to me and the initial round of feedback has been really good. We got the Intel Mac build working and we also got the Windows build working. So across Mac and Windows, Import Magic is now working. So for everyone who reached out to me that wanted to try out Windows, but Windows wasn't ready, look out for a DM because I will be sending you a key to try it out on Windows. And then some users ran into an issue that if you have like over like 500 gigs or so, Import Magic is just really, really slow or it can crash. And I pushed out a fix for that so they can handle a lot of data now and it's super, super fast, even faster than before. So now I'm working on uh, being able to let you configure the export stuff. So like you can sort the files by date, uh, file type and all that. Like you can have like custom configurations for the folders. Really, uh, thankful and appreciative that there was so much interest from my la video last week and stay tuned import magic is looking really great it's been helping some people and i'm just i'm just happy that it's gone to this point where people actually can use it on their computers even though there are some issues but fixing it is all part of the job so yeah stay tuned peace out for those of you who are new here import magic my app that i've been developing is a easy way to take photos from your camera and external volume and cross check it against any other folder and figure out what files are duplicates and which ones are new and then import only the new one. And then boom, that's the new file right there. And I can import that one. And then yep, let's delete it. Damn.